So a lot of people ask me about um, where I sleep at night because um, oftentimes I'm in cities or um, <clears throat> in busy areas. I'm not like, like the easiest place for me when I'm traveling, traveling, like actually going from one place to another is on and off ramps. Um, that's where I sleep. I feel the safest there. I don't like the really lit and loud um, <clears throat> like travel centers and and rest stops. But when I'm in cities <clears throat> or towns, sorry for the weird brightness, um, I look a little bit creepy, but it's like dumping rain out. So I <clears throat> just got out of bed and I'm now going to a coffee shop. Um, but when I'm in cities, I just look for places that, oh, you're coming this way? Sorry, buddy. Um, I look for places that are like in neighborhoods actually that are I mean I have a nice truck so that actually makes a difference in where I park um, I won't park or sleep um, like in if it feels like really sketchy to me because I have a nice truck I I just feel like it's like opening myself up to people breaking wanting to break into it and then then they find me and then that's not fun for either of us so um, I actually look for nicer neighborhoods when I was in Denver I self camped next to like mansions <clears throat> I felt super secure there because I, I I knew they wouldn't really second guess in a nicer newer vehicle you know if I had like an older um, or more beat up or more obvious vehicle like I just have a truck so if it was a more obvious um, like you know camper van or something like that I wouldn't sleep in neighborhoods because or at least I, I might but just for like a night um, but having this car I do feel like I have a little bit more which I didn't plan on all oh, this parking lot's gone I didn't plan on that um, when I bought it it wasn't a consideration actually I mean I just wanted a truck when I bought it um, but it was something that just I've learned has been something that I've been really appreciative of um, and so you got that ninja spot right there um so i like when i was in denver i said i parked my mansions i you know i at night quietly went around the neighborhood to find a spot that was um not right in front of someone's house um it was across the street from someone's house but it wasn't right in front of someone's house and then it was um, also, um, you know, like I look for like tall shrubbery or a fence that I'm parked next to, just so that there are less like lines of sight to my, um, yes, to my, um, like me getting in and out of my truck. And then like when I'm in areas that I know, um, I'll find neighborhoods that I just, I don't know that I either kind of trust or know and then I will um, and then I will basically again find a spot that like I was thinking about it last night because I parked on this street that I know is not super busy it's not a major artery but I also know that like you know it's still in a neighborhood and it's still um, it's still there, there's, there's, there are houses around or whatever, but um, you know, I made sure that I wasn't in, right in front of someone's house. It was maybe there's a tall fence, so if anything, it was maybe their backyard. And then, um, but when I did get up this morning, I realized, oh, you know, I am right next to a um, sidewalk, which I try not to be next to sidewalks either because I don't know people walking their dog late at night or early in the morning. I'm not getting up super early. I want to be and should be, but I'm not. And so, you know, say they're walking their dog and all of a sudden they hear like a cough <laughs> from the car, you know, like I don't want to have to worry about being super silent. So those are just some of the things that I think about when I'm finding self camping spots. And I don't stay in one place um, more than a night um, if I can help it. Just because it's just like if I'm in a parking lot, there's sometimes I'll, I'll park myself in parking lots near Starbucks and stuff like that. Um, because again, I don't look like a camper vehicle, so I'm not necessarily, especially if there's an overnight business in the area, like I was in Denver, there was a couple places where I was near, um, I was going to Planet Fitness anyway, so I'm already like, you know, supporting the local, whatever, supporting the businesses in that plaza, and 
there's a Starbucks that plaza. So, and the if the Planet Fitness is 24 hours, then you know that people are either going to it all night anyway, or somebody's working it all night. So my truck doesn't stand out, you know, as like as the night goes on. Um, and then in the morning, I'm getting up and going right into that Starbucks. So I'm like also contributing to the, you know, the patron, like I'm being a patron of those stores. So, I mean, not that any of that, you know, doesn't need to be my, it's not going to be my deciding factor for sure, because safety is going to be my first and foremost, but it does help to, I think, to think about those things and, um, just be aware of your surroundings and pick spaces that, um, are not obtrusive, you know, like I don't want, like I'm, I'm choosing to live in my vehicle and a lot of people have a hard time understanding that. If you're watching this, you probably don't because you're probably somebody who's either doing it or thinking about doing it. Um, and whether that reason is for monetary reasons or just so that you can travel, um, or a number of other reasons, um, you know, you probably are a little bit more of an understanding, but not most people don't. <laughs> when I talk to people about, you know, why I choose to live in my vehicle or, I mean, I, I use, I even use the words like I, I uh, travel full time for a living or I travel full time because people just don't really get, you know, if I'm like, yeah, I live in my truck. Like they're like, oh, so where's your home? My truck. Well, so where's your, you got to have a home base. People really struggle. Like they really struggle with the idea um, that like, I don't have a home base. I'm like, well, my address is over here, but I don't ever go to that. Like that's where my mail goes. I have a mailing address. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I thought hopefully that's helpful and let me know questions you have and I'm happy to answer them in subsequent videos and I'll talk to you all soon.